This local sports report is presented by the PBJ Cleaning Depot, a proud supporter of local sports. PBJ is more than just cleaning supplies. It's your one-stop shop for office products, office furniture, and of course, janitorial supplies. Learn more about all of PBJ's products and services by visiting cleaning-depot.ca or scan the QR code on your screen. Let's head to the curve for Junior B Playoff Hockey. This is Game 4 of the first round of the Chase for the Cherry Cup. The Listowel Cyclones and the Cambridge Redhawks facing off on Thursday night in Listowel. The Sykes trailing 2-1 in the series, looking to tie it up in front of the home crowd. First period, and it's a good start for the visitors. This is Ty Anselmini with a great drop pass. He sets up Kyle Maloney, and it's a snipe show for Maloney. What a shot from the Red Hawks center, and it's 1-0 Cambridge. And the Red Hawks would keep pressing. Moments later, and here's Henry Turner looking for more out front, but he drills it off the post, and it stays 1-0 Red Hawks. The Red Hawks forechecking hard in the first, but here comes the Sykes on defense. Tanner Dietz crunches Cameron Freeze on the end boards. Then it's more Sykes physicality, but watch Max Massarolo. He keeps his head up and drops Jaden Steele at the Listowel blue line. Late in the first, now Sykes power play, and it's a good setup off the draw. Mason Gurig rips it on net. Cam McNeven slams it in. That's McNeven's third of the playoffs, and we're all tied up at one each. Jumping to the second now, and here come the Red Hawks in the four check. Michael McKnight sets up Ty Anselmini for the goal. It's the Red Hawks four check, getting it done down low, and they retake the lead. And the Red Hawks were just getting started. Moments later, now Red Hawks power play, and how about Kyle Maloney? He pulls the puck off the wall, steps into a shot, and it's money from Maloney. He finds the goal mesh. That's his second of the night, and the Hawks are up by a pair. The Sykes back the other way, and it's a great chance for Patrick Brown. He's wide open out front. Ben Edwards squares up the shot and keeps it out. The Sykes running into some penalty trouble in the second, and it's the Hawks looking to capitalize with the man advantage. Andrew Britton is on the doorstep, and he bangs in the rebound. That's Britton's second marker of the postseason, and the Red Hawks would keep the foot on the gas. Late in the frame, now the Red Hawks back on another 5 on 4. Michael McKnight rips a one timer from the high slot. Loose puck out front. Matt Freeze with the finish. That's three back to back power play goals for the Red Hawks, and they now lead 5 to 1. Final minute of the second, now the Sykes on a power play of their own, looking to spark a comeback. Corey Jewett bangs in a buzzer beater. It's clutch from Jewett. He scores with less than a second left in the period, and the Sykes find some life heading into the final frame. In the third period now, and it's Listy keeping the momentum coming. Patrick Brown wins the draw. Jack O'Donnell sends it home. The cur erupting for O'Donnell. That's a power play marker for him, and the Sykes pull back within two. Only a minute later now, and it's more Sykes pressure. Ben McRobbie centers the puck. Patrick Brown slams it in. It's a massive goal from Patrick Brown. That's three in a row from Listy, and the Sykes bring the game back within a single goal. Final minute of the third now, and it's the Sykes with an empty net and an extra attacker looking to complete the comeback. Joseph Mara getting in the shooting lane, deflects the shot wide, and the Red Hawks shut down the Sykes. So a big second period from the Red Hawks with four goals proving to be enough tonight as they hold on to the third and take game four by a final score of five to four on Thursday night. The Red Hawks moving to game point now lead the series three to one. Game five is on Saturday at the Galt Arena Gardens. The guys all move the puck well, so uh, it's easy to it's easy to score goals, and uh, their kill was doing a good job. So we just found a way to score goals, which is good.